Hi, I'm Bill, the HVAC hacker. In this adventure, I'm going to go over adjusting subcooling on an AC system. On this call, they complained that their AC just isn't quite cooling as good as they would like. Just not keeping up all the way. But now, if you come and look, always make sure you got the right side on the right side. I have three, four, and 23 superheat, but three subcool. Most manufacturers have a four ton system, tell you what they want the subcool for a four ton is seven. I'm two seven on here. So, I'm slightly undercharged. That means my coil, you have to remember, this machine was off for a while. It's about 90 degrees right now. Upstairs in this house is very hot. I have a 67 degree evap coil, 99 degree condenser. So, let's. Adjust the sub sub cool so it's correct. Remember when you're done, tap that dirt out. Sub cool two six. Okay. Okay. Now we got all liquid. Now let's add just open up and let it go no throttling in or any of that other crap i hear people talking about just let it go we got to be seven so we're going to let this suck until we get to about i'm going to say probably four when we get to four i'm going to back off It's a large house, so as you can see how long it's taken to move, just a little bit of subcooling. I can have close to 80 feet of line set, so three six, three eight, nine, four. Now I'm closing the ball valve. I'm gonna let it clear out the hose and suck as much of it into the machine as possible. Section by temp starting to drop. Because it's getting colder, so we just got more gas into it. Sub cool is 5.7 right now. I probably still need to put a little bit in. Superheat's about 21.5 right now, 21.5. Five suction pipe, almost 98. It is 98. My liquid line tab. So let's give this a minute. Because yes, it is long lines, which means that it's going to take a while for what I just added to mix. Waiting, I'm gonna put the door back on.
Frank with the nut driver away. And now we are 6-3 on the subcool. So we're, all, I think we're perfect now. Seven plus minus one, so that's good. 19.8 superheat, 64 degree suction temp. 97 is my liquid line temp. Let's see what the outside temp is. Five eight sub cool, nineteen eight superheat. So what I'm doing is as I'm adding, I'm making the liquid line temperature go down because it's getting more liquid refrigerant to go through it. We're down a five sub cool now. 20.6 superheat. We were about two when I started. That's why I wanted to add, get it to a certain point, stop, and then see where it goes from there. 64.8 is the suc suction line temp, 98 is the liquid. Okay, so 5.4, five, 5.5, four, five, five. we haven't added anything yet, it's just equalizing. That's why everything is read says, you add gas, give it 15 minutes. The hardest part is who has 15 minutes after you put gas in? Or the patience for 15 minutes. Because look, I mean, my sub cool now, I'm, on, I'm back up to 6. Sixty-four suction line temp. I mean, I have at this point twenty degrees of superheated vapor. I'm not at six yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce this up to six. Once I achieve six subcool, like now, stop. Let it clear out whatever's in the hose. through the sight glass the remains that are going in. Okay, my hose is clear. I'm done with this. We're now at eight. So we're still within the plus minus one. We just put in more, so. I'm gonna throw the can in the truck, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And right now it looks like I might be a little overcharged, but I don't care. 9-2 is where it seems like it's stopped at. I, I, put the, I went to the truck, I put my can away. Only about five minutes has passed since I was just here filming, so. But I mean, it's 90 degrees according to my thermometer outside. Put that away. 8.6, 20 degrees superheat. This thing's perfect. 65 is my suction pipe temp. 97 is my liquid line temp. That's good enough. It's a lot better than when I first got here. As you can see, it's my, oh, maybe the probe wasn't sitting that good, but as I move my probe, I'm down to 63. It's still dropping. Maybe it needed a little time. Superheat's now 18.4, 8.7, as I'm equalizing. My coil's getting colder though, because it's probably cooling the air also upstairs. 
62.6, still going down. But to increase your subcooling, so you want your subcooling to go up, you add gas. You want to reduce, you need to take out gas or refrigerant, whatever you want to call it, Freon, refrigerant, it doesn't matter what we're calling it. But to reduce, you let out, to make it go up, you add and you put in, and then your subcool goes up, then your subcool goes up, your pipe temp goes down. And we're 62 degrees on our suction, which is very nice. 17.9 superheat, nine degrees subcool. It's more than enough, that's perfect. Now, the best way to disconnect your hoses, everybody might have their own way, but I always close. My high side, this is always closed. So I never actually attach anything here. I just wrap them around the box. Let's see, what is my 62, 18 degrees of super heat, perfect. Okay, now, since I've, I'm happy with where everything is, you open up both sides. Suck all the liquid refrigerant out your hose in through the gauge, back through the blue hose and into the suction side of the system. See my pressures are now starting to come down and equalize. So now I can remove my high side. Okay, that's disconnected. Now I can close this, disconnect this side. Let's empty out my hoses. I do not like storing them full. Okay, now I can disconnect my probes and turn off my testos. For any of my subscribers, please tell me which digital gauges do you like. These are getting old. The hook is broken after about five years, six years of using it. 2011 or 12, I bought these. Great gauges, beating the hell out of them. But the hook broke. I also lost the flap. I lost the flap. Other than that, I've had no problems with these. Other than one of these clamps are new. This one is new. It stopped. It was at times registering. Sometimes it wasn't. The wire was getting damaged either somewhere here the sensor is getting damaged I'd have to play with the wire eventually I get it to read it would follow the clamp to whichever side I hooked the clamp up to that's where my problem was I figure you know what let me just replace it I've been looking at the smart probes by Testos a lot of people talk about the Esmonds but to me they're gigantic so I don't think I like them the yellow jackets look nice but they're very expensive I was told by a buddy of mine in the supply house that they're good, but he doesn't sell many of them at all. He's like, yeah, you want a good pair of Testos, they're solid. The Esmonds, he gets a lot of returns on. But a lot of people swear by the Esmonds. He pretty much, he, he was standing behind the Testos. Okay. Well, thanks for watching my video on how to adjust or raise the subcool in the system to try to help provide a little bit more air conditioning. We got almost, I mean, I don't want my beer cans to only be 60 degrees, but when it's 90 degrees out, that 60 degrees feels beautiful. Can't say beer can cold, but you know what? To my hand, it feels beer can cold. Till next time. I'm out.